Here are some Java IDE improvements, including Git and general improvements of Eclipse 2022-06. Improvements that have been added since the last release in March 2022, three months ago. In the Eclipse 2022-06 Java IDE, Java 18 support is now built in. When creating a new Java project, you can select which JRE to use from a list that now goes up to Java 18 including the current three long-term support versions, Java 8, 11 and 17, as well as the Java versions between and before them. Since Eclipse is shipped with Java 17 and not with Java 18, in order to code in Java 18, you need to make sure that a Java 18 JDK is installed on your system and configured in the preferences, Java, Install JREs. Running Eclipse with Java 17 allows you to use also plugins that are not yet ready for Java 18. So, also when you use the Eclipse installer, instead of installing an IDE package directly, choose the Java 17 for download and to code in Java 18, use the Java 18 JDK installed on your system. Code snippets in Java doc comments are a new feature of Java 18. The snippet tag is similar to the code tag, but for multiple lines of code. And there are several options, for instance, to highlight, to link, or to replace parts of the snippet. You can see the result of these modifications in the Java doc view, or when hovering over an element to which the Java doc belongs. Alternatively, instead of having the content inside the snippet tag, you can take your snippets from real code, for example from test code. This way your snippets will never become stale or broken. When generating HTML Java doc, for instance via project, generate Java doc, the snippet path must be specified as an extra Java doc option. The same applies to Maven, where the snippet path is set in the configuration element Additional Options. In the Java editor, there are noticeable performance improvements in the Java Content Assist for all Java versions. Compared with the previous Eclipse version, you can really see the difference. The Java editor also provides new quick fixes and a new quick assist for Java 17 and older Java versions. The new quick fixes, Control 1, on sealed classes, which were introduced in Java 17, are provided when there are no permitted types. Create a new class, 
creates a new permitted subclass in a new file in the same package. while create a new member class creates an inner class inside the sealed class. There are even more quick fixes for an interface than for a class. For either creating a class, a record or an interface as either a new file or an inner type. Speaking of interfaces, there is a new quick assist control one, create new interface extending to create a new interface extending the interface on which the quick assist was called. There are new and improved cleanup functions too. In the unnecessary code tab, There is the new Remove Unused Private Method Parameters cleanup and the Remove Overridden Assignment cleanup has been improved now with the option Move Declaration if necessary to join the declaration with the assignment even when there is code in between by moving the declaration down to the assignment. In the Java Feature tab for Java 7 the replace system property with constant cleanup has been improved as well. The option boolean property became box type property, applying the cleanup not only to booleans but also to integers and longs now. Printing to the console view is now noticeably faster than before. As this simple Java example shows, especially when printing very long lines. The faster console is a general platform improvement. Printing to the console is now faster not only in the Java IDE, but also in the Eclipse IDE for C, C++ developers and all other IDEs. There are some more general platform improvements in the 2022 or 6 release. Let's take a look at them. Find Actions, Control 3, can now also be used to open a file by entering its name. You can use wildcards, an asterisk for any string, and a question mark for any character. There are a bunch of new multi selection and multi carrots commands, but without having any keys assigned to them by default. You can use find actions for the new commands, for example by hitting Ctrl3, typing add all and hitting return to find the current selection and to add all matches to multi-selection. But if you want to use the new commands more often, consider assigning keys to them like this. Hit Ctrl Shift L twice to open the keys preferences. Multi-selection down relative to anchor selection is similar to find next Control K as it adds the next match to the multi selection. So let's use Alt K. Make sure that there is no conflict caused by the same key already being assigned to another command. Similarly, Shift Alt K for multi selection up relative to anchor selection, Control Alt Shift K for add all matches to multi selection, and Escape to end multi selection. For multi caret down and up, let's use Alt plus dot and Alt plus comma.
Alt-K to add the next match to the multi-selection. Shift-Alt-K to do the reverse. Control Alt Shift K to add all matches to multi selection. And escape to end multi selection. Add plus dot adds another carrot below the last carrot, and Alt plus comma removes it again. Or if there is no carrot above, adds another one above. It's much more convenient with the keys, isn't it? Eclipse follows Java 18 by using UTF-8 by default. The default encoding of the workspace is now UTF-8 instead of the encoding given by the system. For backward compatibility reasons, you can change the workspace encoding in the preferences, General, Workspace. But it would actually be better, for easier sharing, to set the encoding in each project. When creating a new project, the encoding of the project is now explicitly set to UTF-8. For existing projects, without an explicit encoding, you get a No Explicit Encoding Set warning, which can be fixed by hitting Ctrl-1, using the provided Quick Fix to set the project encoding to UTF-8. Or by going to Project, Properties, Resource, and setting the encoding manually. There are improvements for Git as well. In the Git staging view, Commit and Push has been extended with an additional Push Settings drop-down. By clicking the gear icon to the left of the Commit and Push button, you can enable or disable force pushing and select whether the push dialog should always be shown. Note that those settings are persisted per repository. A further smaller improvement is that in the git config, specified comment char is now considered for commit messages, exactly as git does on the command line. Eclipse can now also use the external diff and merge tools configured in git. In the preferences, version control, git, there is a new page, Diff Merge, where you can choose for both Diff and Merge what to use. The Compare Editor of Eclipse, as in the past. The External Tool, as configured in Git. Or a specific external tool of the tools configured in Git. Last but not least, beside the Git improvements, there are notable enhancements in the JavaScript editor that are included in the Eclipse IDE for Enterprise Java and Web Developers, or otherwise can be installed as Eclipse Wild Web Developer. None of these errors in this example file have been detected in the past. Look how many there are! Look at the error messages. Those are a lot of new checks for different kinds of things. These were some of the Java IDE improvements of the quarterly rolling release June 2022. Thanks for watching and happy coding!